Hello everyone, this is Elephant TV. Today we tell you a story about a ghost and a photo. Photographer Jack and his girlfriend Emma had just attended a friend's wedding. They were driving home. On the way they were talking, they accidentally bumped into a woman. Emma wanted to get out of the car to see if she was dead, but Jack stopped her. The two of them just drove away from the scene. Emma blamed herself afterwards, but Jack advised her to relax. The next day Jack went to school to take graduation photos, but it seemed to see a ghostly figure in the camera. Jack thought he was kidding us and didn't care about it. Jack then went to watch the photos, but every photo came out with a white light. One photo even had a ghost face. Jack thought that the boss had broken the wash. The result of the negative to see the white light does exist. Emma, who was at home, also encountered something spooky. She had a nightmare. She dreamed that she saw a ghost in a dark room. Stared, Emma thought about her dream and looking at the paranormal photos that Jack brought back. I always thought it was related to the car accident that night. So they drove back to the place of the accident together. They asked the traffic police if there was an accident here a few days ago. But the traffic police said only the billboard was knocked down. No one was injured, but they didn't believe it and asked the hospital and the police. The answer was the same, but that night they did see a woman being hit hard. Emma still thought thought something was wrong, Jack told her to stop obsessing, maybe there was no accident, the white light in the photo could have been her own broken camera. A series of strange things happened after the couple hit and run. The photos taken always had a white light. To confirm whether there is a ghost in the photos, they went to ask professionals. Professionals showed them some synthetic paranormal photos. They also showed them photos that actually recorded ghosts. Jack asked how to tell if they were real or not. The professional said that the photos taken by Polaroid could not be fooled. After visiting the professionals, they drove home. Jack kept rubbing his neck since the accident that day. His neck had been aching for no apparent reason. He came to the hospital for a checkup but found that everything was normal except for his weight gain. Everything else was normal. Jack thought it was because he was stressed out and didn't care. Emma, on the other hand, was looking through the photos with the white light. She found that all the white lights appeared in the herbarium of the school. So she took a Polaroid and went there alone. The result was that she actually captured a female ghost here. Emma also saw a girl named Taylor in the photos placed in the herbarium. And she was the one she ran over that night. Emma thought Taylor looked familiar, like a classmate of Jack's. So she rushed home to look for Jack's photo album. She found out that Taylor was Jack's ex-girlfriend. At the same time, Jack's three best friends jumped to their death one by one. It seems that all this is related to Taylor. Emma questioned Jack and Taylor about what happened. Jack says they met in college and were very much in love. But slowly Jack realized he didn't love her and broke up with her. She threatened herself with suicide. After that, Taylor disappeared. No one can find her. It seems that she has come back to seek revenge. Jack is probably her next target. Jack is haunted by the ghost of his ex-girlfriend. And the only way to get rid of the haunting is to let her spirit rest in peace. So they drove to Taylor's house. Taylor had committed suicide long ago, but her mother won't cremate her. Until Jack and Emma took out a picture of the ghostly figure and said she deserved to be laid to rest. Taylor's mother agreed to have her body cremated. I thought everything would be over after the cremation. But then Emma came to the photo studio to get her photos and found a set of photos that she had accidentally taken of the living room. In the photos, Taya reappears. It seems to be prompting Emma to look for something. Emma turned up a negative in the place she pointed out. After she developed the negative, she realized the truth of everything. It turns out that Taya was assaulted in the specimen room by Jack's three brothers in turn. Jack, who had inadvertently entered the specimen room, was asked to take nude photos of Taylor in order to threaten her not to call the police. The cowardly Jack not only watched Emma being humiliated, he also pressed the shutter as the brothers had told him to do. After that, Taylor went home and took her own medicine and left this desperate world behind. Emma was furious when she found out the truth. She didn't expect Jack to be such a scum. She chose to leave. Jack was furious when Emma left. She wanted to find out where Taylor was, so she took a Polaroid and photographed every corner of the house. But there was no sign of her. In his anger, he threw the camera to the ground, and it hit the shutter and took a picture of him. Seeing the photo Jack instantly collapsed. It turned out that Taylor had been sitting on his neck, held him tightly. Under Taylor's control Jack fell to the bottom of the building. But he did not die. When he woke up, he was locked up in a mental hospital. Emma comes to visit him, and Taylor is still on his shoulder. He will suffer for the rest of his life for what he did wrong. Well, that's the end of this issue sharing. You've seen it all. Are you sure you don't want to follow me? See you next time.